Okay, so we're back with the subconscious mind through the houses. Yes, your moon in the second house. What is it saying to you? What is it speaking without you even knowing that it's speaking? What is it saying to you when it's speaking on a daily basis, even when you're sleeping? Uh, yes, so this moon in the second house is just finds themselves wanting so much wanting so much but at the same time never really saying it you know is there deep down in the subconscious mind about what it is that you want who you want the type of life that you want what you value and there's a, a is very deep yet physically or when it comes to the world or con your conscious awareness you can sometimes feel lost like you don't really know what it is that you want you don't really know who who do you want at all you just may not know or you feel like you don't know and a lot of what that um of what you want, what you're driven by, your value system of life comes from your mother and the support system that you had. And the thing about it is, it's iffy here because if you had a positive relationship with your mother, you still find yourself with your wants and your needs wrapped around that of her um, and, and what she believes, her beliefs around what you should want and value. However... If you had a negative relationship with your mother, you can sub un unconsciously project that to others, like the negative interactions and the negative impacts of your mother to others. Okay. Now, each sign is here is going to also matter. Now, I did the moon sign through the other planets. It's on my channel. You should go check it out. But still, here, for some reason, the moon in the second house always settles or finds it easier to just settle for what others want. And, like, you can go through life doing this, and then you get up to a certain age when someone really lets you down or you have some type of awakening to where you realize, like, you know, it's like you woke up out of a deep sleep, like, what what's been happening um like wow i don't really have what i want this isn't what i want not really understanding that the problem is you're not properly identifying what you want your needs you're not putting any boundaries up or structurizing your um value the value within yourself so that you can manifest it in reality Therefore, having what you want, because remember, we're constantly attracting in what we want and then, you know, saying what we don't want through our actions. OK, you got to bring your subconscious mind to play here. It's like you hide. You hide behind something. So it's not a bad thing. It's just about identifying what you want or what's keeping you from what it is that you want. How you're really seeing yourself. And if you are a moon in the second house that's devaluing or I, I would say devaluing yourself or, you know, holding yourself back because of feelings of rejection, whatever the case may be, you have to really get to the root of that problem. And a lot of people find when dealing with this, the uh, workings of their subconscious is very hard to go in there and dig, 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 those things out. Because for some reason, it's like a scary movie, like a horror film for a lot of people. And they don't understand that really doing this helps them. It's just like a vibrational thing. When you do it, it's like a snap of a finger and then things start turning around. You have to become aware. So with moon in the second house, you have to consciously state what it is that you want 
determine what you need in your life, what you don't need, okay? Regardless of who you come into relationship with, who you form intimate um, interactions with, your attachments, like even the attachments to the things that you have, because there's some things that you have now that you should have been let go of in order to bring something new in. And you just know that you want something new. You may want something different, but it doesn't quite manifest the way you want or it doesn't come in clearly. You know, a lot of people with moon in the second house, they're unclear of why this is happening because they're unclear with themselves and what's going on in their minds, the subconscious minds. So, like I said, it's important to establish th- this or to become aware of this. What is it that you want? What do you need in your life? What you no longer need in your life? Um, and you have to pro- actually do this in a very practical way. So even though this is something that's going on on an emotional level or subconscious level, you have to actually practice or confront in a very practical way by doing practical things even if you have to detach from a value system that was already in place and that's what you go off of could have came from a mother figure you know but that is what you go off of detaching from that and giving that back it's like okay listen i understand this worked for when i was younger or in past generations traditions what's working now in this new day and age And you have to be willing to set up a system, your own working system that, um, that can model that for you and others so that whenever it comes time for you to get confused and lose yourself in the needs and the wants of someone else, you can clearly stop and right in the tracks and it's stop it in its tracks and say, you know, hold up. I get what you want and you need here. This is where I am. And it's not that people in the moon in the second house don't always know what it is that they want and they need or don't always communicate it because a lot of you guys can. But another way is the way that you do. It can show up in a very unhealthy way with always trying to get what you want, always trying to get what you feel like you need and and, and manipulating um confusing others to do so and still the way to help with this aspect is to understand you have the right to form your own traditions your own value system getting clear on what it is that you want getting clear on, clear on what it is that you need and sometimes you may even have to compromise if you have a moon in Gemini in the second house compromise central with Libra, compromise, compromise. In Cancer, there may compromises compromises may have to take place, but it may have to do with you also understanding that you can get what you want as well, and you don't really have to manipulate to do so because you could be looking for security. Subconsciously, you're wanting so much, but you may be confused about it on a conscious level, constantly giving up your power to others. And it's okay to support others, but not when it comes to the detriment of who you are and what you want and what your needs are as well. Okay. Um, yes. So this has been Moon in the second house. Wanting so much. But are you willing to get it? I'm butterflies to light, y'all. Let me quit playing. Boom. <laughs>